guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today we're gonna have a little shorter video but something I think is very important. I wanted to give you my advice if you are new to the planner community. Um, I know that I was new at one point and feeling uh, a little overwhelmed and there's some things that in hindsight now I wish I had known so I wanted to share those things with you guys just from my perspective based on what I have you know experienced over the past uh, three or four years at this point so whether you know whether or not this is your first time actually you know getting and using a planner or maybe you've been using some sort of planner forever um, but you're new to this planner community on YouTube and Instagram um, I just wanted to kind of share my tips and just my kind of perspective so first of all welcome to this community we are so happy to have you here everyone has a voice and a unique style and we love seeing new people come so here's my first tip okay this one is gonna be hard especially when you're new but don't stand one brand when I was new to this community I acted you know you would have thought that happy planner was paying me um, I got really sucked in to happy planner and only wanted to use happy planner products I felt like I had some kind of brand loyalty um, and I think that's very common in the community especially with that brand in particular I am no longer like that but uh, my biggest piece of advice would be to just check out all kinds of different brands you know try to support small businesses you know maybe a brand that's run by just one person check out black owned brands check out um, you know brands run by single moms and you know single dads and just people who are very talented and who are just trying to you know make something um, that people enjoy and you know help uh, pay the bills so um, try not to stay in one brand don't act like you have some kind of loyalty to one brand because you certainly don't try all different things all right my next piece of advice is try to find what works for you don't be afraid to try different uh, planners different planner systems you know just because you start out maybe you start out on discs like I did um, and maybe you know try using um, rings maybe try using a book bound um, you know uh, use a traveler's notebook use strings um, we always say you know rings and strings and discs oh my um, just kind of try out different things maybe you find that you don't want to be able to remove and add in pages you don't want rings you don't want discs um, you just want like a book bound planner you know a nice it looks just like a book and it is what it is and you can't uh, take pages out and add them in maybe that's what you want just find what works for you um, and you know don't be afraid to venture out and try new things okay this next tip is very important y'all do not go into debt over some paper and stickers okay and this is not something I've done but I do know many people who have admitted to you know look I have racked up a lot of debt just trying to keep up with the trends and not have that fear of missing out and I gotta have all the latest washi tape and you know the things that the Villa Beautiful pens and all these things that everyone has and just don't do that don't don't you know feel like you have to have everything don't go into debt like by all means if you have the money and you want to buy all the things go right ahead you do you you can do whatever you want with your money but if you are on a budget as most of us are don't don't go into debt over some stickers and paper it is not worth it whatever you have use it and you will be so much happier um, you know if you are not uh, struggling to pay your bills every month I mean I've heard of people who can't pay the light bill because they bought too much washi come on now we're no we can't be doing that so <laughs> if you can't afford new stuff just use what you already have and be sure to check out um, you know different buy sell trade groups on Facebook people sometimes they'll just say hey if you pay for shipping I'll send you this for free um, you can definitely find things that are gently used but don't go into debt over some paper and stickers and washi okay so my next tip here 
is one that I think is very important and something that I struggled with when I first started, um, probably for the first couple years. Sometimes it can be easy to feel like, you know, your spreads aren't good enough, um, that your planner isn't pretty enough, that, you know, yours doesn't look like everyone else's, so there must be something wrong with it. And I want you to, you know, don't feel pressured to make your planner look like everyone else's. And I know back when I was in the happy planner world, um, it was very much, you know, if you weren't buying the latest release, so, you know, say a new sticker book came out and you didn't have it, you know, you would go on Instagram and that week it was like everyone was using the new sticker book. And obviously everyone's layouts are going to be different because we all have our own, you know, style and creativity and no layout is going to be you know, no two layouts are going to be exactly the same, but when you're using the exact same stuff, I just started to feel like, you know, this isn't me. I'm just trying to make my planner look like everyone else's and kind of conform and fit in, and that's not me at all. So, if you feel like your planner isn't pretty enough or doesn't look like everyone else's, please share it anyway. You know, I'm, I really want more of us to share, um, you know what makes us unique and what makes our planners unique and we're not all gonna have these cookie cutter spreads that look exactly the same and that's part of the reason i started drawing my own layouts because i knew that you could look at mine and my layout is not gonna look like anyone else's because i did it myself um <laughs> so yeah don't feel pressured to make your planner look like everyone else's all right and last but not least uh as far as my advice if you are new in this community I would highly recommend you follow and subscribe to um, different accounts on Instagram, YouTube, you know, if you're on Facebook a lot, there's Facebook pages. Um, just follow people online who are in this community and follow different types of creators. So, you know, when I first got started, I would only follow people who are using Happy Planner because I thought, well, I'm using Happy Planner, so I, sh I mean, that's what I need to follow, right? Um, and I would just encourage you to follow people who use all different types of planners. I, f I follow people now who have bullet journals, passion planner, um, people who use, you know, rings, who have traveler's notebooks, just all kinds of stuff um, because I really want to get inspiration from all different kinds of people and I want to see diversity in my feed and not see the same stuff over and over. So, you know, just kind of go on Instagram. You can search different hashtags like, you know, just hashtag planner community, Planner Babe, um, Planner Inspo, just anything uh, planner related. You're going to find all kinds of stuff. Um, if you follow one account, then you will, you know, get recommended other accounts to follow. Go on YouTube. Obviously, you're already here. Follow, you know, some other creators here on the platform um, just to kind of help you get inspiration. Um, it definitely helped me a lot in the beginning, and it still helps me to watch my favorite creators. It helps me get inspiration. So I will link some of my favorite uh, creators down in the description box that are both here on YouTube and on Instagram. So you can check those out if you're looking for a place to start, if you don't, you know, if you're not really following too many people. And yeah, that has been my advice for you if you are new to this planner community. Again, I want to say welcome. Don't get overwhelmed. You know, we're so glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're here. Um, we all bring something new to the table and... Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will enjoy this community and I hope you enjoyed this video. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you have not. Uh, be sure to also follow me over on Instagram at Planning with Cass. And I will also put a link to the rest of the uh, Plan Miss playlist in the description box. I am doing one video every single day in the month of December. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you next time.